you. Well, there is no denying that baseball, as a game and especially as an institution, has its share of problems. And this World Series emphasized some of those problems, no denying that. But this series also, especially Game 7, reminded us why this can be the greatest game of all. Baseball, especially in the big games, has a capacity to generate a kind of sustained tension and drama that is both delicious and excruciating and is all but unmatched in all of sports. This game takes its place in baseball history, a history that is the longest and richest of all the team sports, and it redeems a lot of what this 1997 baseball season has been about. Say what you want about the institution of baseball. The game of baseball can still be the best game on earth. For Bob Eucher, for Joe Morgan, for Keith Oberman, for Hannah Storm, and for Jim Gray, thanks for being with us. And good night from South Florida, where the Florida Marlins reign as baseball's world champions. NFL and the Super Bowl, the Breeders' Cup, the PGA Tour, the NBA and the NBA Finals, Notre Dame football, Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, and the 2000, 2002, 2004, 2006, and 2008 Olympic Games, all on America's sports leader, NBC. Tuesday, a baby out of control. Bouncer, 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 bouncer. And there's only one way to make her be quiet. We just gotta keep her up. Yeah. For the rest of our life. If they stop, the baby explodes in tears. How smart am I? You're pretty smart. One problem. What's the matter? Out of pressure. Oh, Based on actual events. What we need is for you to just drive without stopping. Oh, man. Speed, baby. What's your name? Kiana. A Mad About You special. NBC Tuesday. Can I see your license and registration? <laughs> WKYC. We're building our station around you. This is Channel 3 News. The 0-1 pitch. Yeah. A liner off Nagy's glove into center field. The Florida Marlins have won the World Series. Oh, so close.
close, but another heartbreak for our Indians. With that base hit, the Tribe comes home from Florida, one win short of the World Championship. Good evening, everyone. We wish we could bring you happier news tonight. Sure do, but our exclusive post-game coverage of an Indian's loss in a tough series. Let's get straight to Channel 3 News Sports Director Jimmy Donovan. Jimmy, tough one to swallow tonight, but a great series. Oh, this is a tough one, Jeff, I'll tell you that. Two outs away from the World Championship, and the Indians looked like they were right there. Jose Mesa on the mound, but he couldn't hold on to the lead in the ninth inning. And then in the 11th inning, crazy things happen. A ball got through the legs of Tony Fernandez, an error. It looked like they might get out of the jam, but then Edgar Renteria came up with his third hit of the game, and that did it. Let's go to the highlights in the ball game. In the ninth inning, Mesa on the mound. And then Craig Council hits this shot to right field. Ramirez makes the catch, but the tying run scores, and it makes it 2-2. The Indians once had the 2-0 lead, so we would go to extra innings. And then finally, in the 11th inning, Edgar Renteria just over the reach of Charles Nagy, who was on in relief, and the winning run scores, and the Florida Marlins, in only their fifth year of existence, win the Baseball World Championship. A devastating loss for the Indians here tonight. What's lost in all of this is an incredible pitching performance by Jared Wright, who in my opinion would have been the World Series most valuable player had the Indians won the series. Instead it goes to the Marlins exceptional rookie, 22-year-old Levon Hernandez. But Wright pitched so well, so gutsy all the way into the, the seventh inning of play until he gave up a home run to Bobby Bonilla. They got him out of there, and then really, Jose Mesa was in his situation, but could not save the game in the ninth inning. And it seemed to me that the momentum swung at that point in time, and it wasn't the Indians game to win. Instead, it appeared that Florida was just getting rally after rally, and then finally they won it in the 11th inning. The scene here at Pro Player Stadium, Absolute delirious excitement. We'll have what should be a very devastating scene in the Indians' locker room because they were shocked at losing this ball game. Two outs away, and they couldn't get it done. So we'll have that coming up as soon as we get a chance to get out of the Indians' locker room and get that back to Cleveland. For now, the Indians, two outs away, but they can't pull it off. And the Florida Marlins are crowned baseball's new world champions. Back to Jeff and Ramona. Okay, thanks, Jimmy. We'll check back with you a little later on. Well, the fans were ready to party tonight. Oh, but those uh, Florida Marlins got in the way a little bit, didn't they? Yeah, Channel 3 News reporter Eric Mansfield is live in the flats. Eric, I bet not a lot of uh, cheers down there. Well, Jeff and Ramona, a reporter knows the difference between covering the event and covering history. Tonight, we hope to be covering history here on Old River Road in the flats, expecting to see it filled with Tribe fans celebrating. For many hours, it looked like it would happen that way. Now, dejected, many of them heading home. This was the scene over at Nautica, as the last out came down, you'll be taking a look at that. Or should I say the last hit there. The fans were just, it was more like a funeral when it finally ended. Most of the fans hardly could find the words to describe it. I really thought they were going to do it. I really did. I guess it wasn't this year. And unfortunately, like many other Cleveland sports uh, over the last 10, 15 years, ends in dramatic fashion. Joined by analyst Super Joe Charbonneau, tough relief pitching comes right to the forefront of what happened. Well, Eric, momentum's a terrible thing to lose. Re relief pitching, direct result, as we saw tonight. What, if anything, could have been done differently to keep us going in the game? I think basically the Indians did about everything they could do. We didn't shut the door in the ninth. Two outs to go. Mesa just didn't get it done. Nobody feels worse than him, but the fact is he just didn't get it done. But certainly the fans are going to stick behind their team. They've had a dramatic season, Jeff and Ramona, and we're going to be glad to welcome them home. A tough loss. This one's going to sit with us all the way to spring training. Yeah, Eric, and we have nothing to hang our heads about. I mean, Not at all. We have a great team. Thank Proud you. of them. Well, tonight's loss is especially tough, considering it was the final game for one of the tribe's best. You know, he is a man who has probably seen more bad...